Ola Aries Sun Gemini Moons, welcome to your 2020 Sun Moon reading. If it resonates, consider a personal reading. Just send me an email and we can go ahead and set that up. When you see it is when you were meant to view it. It doesn't matter the time of year. And while we're talking about that, go check out your 2020 Sun Moon readings that are still in my playlist and see if they are coming true for you for this year. First portion of this reading, I'll lay out the main cards. We'll take a quick look at your 2021. The second portion will be the Vimeo link below where I will have a deeper interpretation of the cards with clarifiers. I'll be dividing the year up into four separate sections. Um, I, oh, did I say I'm doing these in order of the requests in the comments? I am, so make sure you post a request up and I'll do it. Um, also check out my playlist for what is your ideal career based on your midheaven sign and what is your compatibility with your partner's sun sign, which is a forever work in progress. Ask me a question on Instinct Code, check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok, like, share, subscribe, and or donate. Otherwise, let's get to the traits of your combination. So Aries, Sun, Gemini, Moons, your motto is work hard, play hard. An independent, charismatic force. You can also be aggressive, out of line, and occasionally blow up. You're always on the move. You're fun and sociable wherever you go. Be careful of being too quick to trust others, however. Your ideal mate is someone who can keep up with you, adapts easily, and shares your penchant for ideation. You can get into trouble with many connections, but are very good at smoothing things over with your charm. At times, you can be a little overprotective, but you are affectionate and honest. In career, you're very good at problem solving and speaking up, even though at times it's a little too honest. You need a vocation that exercises your intelligent, quick, intelligent, quick thinking mind. Very hardworking, you enjoy staying focused on your path. That path could be science, engineering, communications, law, medicine, acting, or public speaking. A little more empathy and tact in regards to your colleagues will take you further in your career. So let's see what's going on. Holy Spirit, angels, divine guides, universe, can you please find your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for Aries, Sun, Gemini, Moons. For the year 2021, what do you see? What do they need to know to reach your higher ground, become closer to universe and closer to divine through your messages? Aries, Sun, Gemini, Moons, what do you see? Or what do they need to know? I really like that's distracting. Okay. What do you see for January, February, March? Aries, Sun, Gemini, Moons for 2021. The Hangman in Reversed. What do you see for April, May, June? We have the Three of Wands and the Upright. What do you see for July, August, September? We have the Queen of Wands in Reversed. And what do you see for October, November, December? The Justice card in reversed. All right, so I see a situation in the beginning of the year where you are very adamant about something that you want. Um, you're kind of to the point, you're drawing a line in the sand and you're saying, I've, I'm only gonna put so much more into this and if I don't get what I want or this doesn't happen, then I'm out of here, okay? Um, it can be, you might be holding on to an outcome or a fantasy a little bit too much. You might wanna lower the bar just a little bit, um, but that's what I'm seeing for January, February, March. April, May, June, you're kind of considering a lot of opportunities that are out there. You're trying to figure out how to have opportunities come to you, thinking in a very big sense. I kind of feel like it's tied to what we talked about over here. You have a specific, like I said, outcome in mind. You want things to go a certain way. You want to bring opportunities to you. Um, you want to travel. It could be a lot of things. And you're just kind of figuring out how you're going to kind of make this happen. I mean, you guys are known for making things happen. Um, so again the three of wands is a it's a card of um it's not really action it's consideration of how you're going to kind of go about doing it and thinking on a much grander scale now july august september we see the queen of wands in reverse which to me is you not having this happen and you're getting very um it can go one of two ways either you're going to feel defeated and your confidence is going to be shot or you're going to try to push your way um so I mean for and I really feel like it's split I think half of you are going to go one way and half of you go going to go the other way so half of you are going to be really like aggressive and try to push something forward might even be a little bit petty about it and um like I said overly aggressive pushy and then the others of you are going to be like you know it's not going to happen woe is me um why does this always happen it's not going to work out so it really is kind of a fork in the road there in terms of um 
I really feel like half of you are going to go one way and half are going to go the other. Now, October, November, December, we have the Justice card in reverse, which is the card in Libra. And here you are just dealing with all of this unfairness, just kind of feeling as though nothing's panned out the way you wanted it to. Um, you've tried to do it several kind of ways and nothing really happened. So here's where you're kind of feeling you don't have a... Um, you end up having an outcome that's not so great at the end of the year. And it is kind of due to, um, I feel like, you know, other environmental things or things that, um, you know, other people who are not giving you a chance really. And, and that's what I feel like. They, like they're not giving you a chance or not letting you be heard or something in that regard. So look out for that, um, the end of the year. Now, I know this doesn't seem like really the best year. I always say hope for the best, plan for the worst. That's what these readings are about. If it resonates, consider a personal reading. We'll go ahead and set one up. Otherwise, make sure you click on the Vimeo link below. I'll be pulling these clarifiers on these cards to have a deeper interpretation. Make sure you check out my playlist. In there are your 2020 sun moon readings. They're still there. What is your ideal career based on your midheaven sign? What is your compatibility with your partner's sun sign? Work in progress. Ask me a question on Instant Go. Check me out on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Like, share, subscribe, and or donate. Otherwise, good luck to you all. Adios from Veronica Garnett. Bye.